Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Harrison Chase poured his heart out to Brooke Lynn. Chase tells Brooke Lynn all about Gregory in the General Hospital recap for October 9, 2023. Highlights from the General Hospital recap. Brooke Lynn consoled a distressed Chase in this episode, while Finn delivered some terrible news to Gregory. Lucy made an important decision regarding deception. Carly also worked with Alexis to obtain dirt on the judge while Sonny and Nina left for their island wedding. Finally, Cyrus got some awful Pentonville news, or at least bad for him. Let us now delve a little deeper into the details. General Hospital, Disease and Deception When Brooke Lynn returned home, she discovered a depressed Chase sitting on the couch. She couldn't comprehend what was wrong and was taken aback when Chase informed her that Gregory had ALS. She was also astonished to learn that Tracy, Jane Elliott, had heard the news before Chase. After looking at previous images, he saw what ALS would do to Gregory while he was still living, which crushed his heart. In the end, Chase was grateful to Tracy for opening her big mouth. Finn arrived in Alex's office to talk with Gregory quietly. He was forced to tell him that Tracy had revealed his illness to Chase. He realized he had to eventually tell his son the truth, so he showed up at Chase's door. Despite Lucy's best efforts, Lucy and Maxie were terrified of losing deception. Maxie tried to persuade Lucy to take Tracy's offer, but Scott defended Lucy and urged she keep her ELQ shares. At the very least, Lucy was thinking about it, if only to help single mom Maxie with her finances. Lucy and Maxie later convened a staff meeting. When Lucy stated that she was accepting Tracy's offer, Maxie was taken aback. Scott even came around in the end and helped Lucy and Maxie celebrate with champagne. General hospital recap, Pentonville issues, wedding joy. Alexis and Gregory decided to nail the judge who sentenced a white-collar criminal to prison just because he, like every other federal judge in the United States, aspired to a higher court. Carly quickly arrived to speak with Alexis and ensure she was following Sonny's instructions. Alexis revealed she had a vested interest in Drew's case since she wanted him to be with her granddaughter Scout, the daughter who didn't need him as much as Donna did Carly. Carly was actually pleased because she found out the judge went on a nice Caribbean fishing excursion as a possible quid pro quo. Cyrus visited with the warden privately and discovered that she was leaving the post and going on. This worried Cyrus because she was the one who allowed him to run his illicit organization from within Pentonville. She assured him he was on his own, but she also worried him when she said Drew would soon be taken care of forever. Nina and Sonny boarded Sonny's private plane to fly to their destination wedding on a Puerto Rican island. Nina was taken aback when Christina, Michael and Willow also turned there because she had no idea she'd have any loved ones there. Nina considered it a dream come true that her daughter would attend her wedding. Willow even offered to assist Nina with the wedding arrangements. Carly and Drew could still put a halt to the GH wedding. GH teasers have pointed out one impediment after another to Sonny and Nina ever walking down the aisle, let alone saying, I do. Both are concealing information by omission or blatant lying. GH speculation on spoilers. That is not the way to enter into a marriage. Yes, it is. It's pretty much the only route in Port Charles. But it's not the way to start a good marriage. Will there be a new Mrs. Corinthos before the end of 2023? General Hospital, if you don't succeed at first. Secrets and false starts are two of the most regularly invited guests to a general hospital wedding. We can imagine Sonny being moved to toss some barware and stammer about how he will not stand for betrayal if the truth about Nina handing up Drew and Carly for crimes they had no intention of ever paying for came to light. Despite the fact that this has nothing to do with him, and Carly and Drew are to blame. Sonny, on the other hand, is prone to flying off the handle. He always calms down after that. That is why, while he may not forgive Nina, he may grow to understand why she did it. 
Obviously, the fact that Carly and Drew actually committed the crime for which they were condemned will not be enough to say, Sonny, that is not a grounds to arrest someone. If that were the case, why would Sonny need to be locked up? And that's just ridiculous. So, while it may not be the end of the world, it is the end for the time being. There will be no weddings this year. After all, Nina is the one who turned Drew in, Therefore she bears the greatest responsibility for the beating he endured in jail. She is the ultimate villain here, not Sonny asking Drew to assist him spy on Cyrus. And Sonny will not tolerate someone putting another person's life in peril for selfish reasons. Spoilers for General Hospital last week, Michael Corinthos contacted an SEC contact. He's tired of waiting for answers that may never come, and he certainly doesn't anticipate Nina Reeves to be the snake in their midst who turned Drew Kane and Carly Spencer in for insider trading. Whoever is to blame, Michael doesn't believe it will be somebody who will cause such a stir in their lives when they find out. When he gets the call indicating the tip leads back to Nina, he'll be astonished but not surprised. Worse yet, what happens next? Will Michael have the guts to destroy his father's upcoming marriage in order to save his mother and Drew? Carly Spencer can't save Drew Kane alone, according to General Hospital spoilers. Carly wasted no time in turning to her newest ally for assistance when she needed it. Carly wasn't going to rest until she figured out way to erase the harm she'd done after making sure Drew woke up after surgery. Allowing Drew to go to prison for something she did was her first mistake, though she isn't exactly pleading guilty today. However, Diane Miller gave her enough information to assume that Judge Kin was using Drew's case to advance his career. Now she wants Michael to assist her in gathering evidence to present to the judge in order to have Drew's sentence modified. Michael is delighted to help. Drew had, after all, saved Willow's life. Sonny Corinthos just wants his happy ending, according to GH Spoilers. On the other side of the family tree, Michael is relieved to have rekindled his relationship with his father. Seeing him almost taken away to prison for the rest of his life helped Michael put things into perspective. That's the last thing he wants for his grandfather. Sonny just wants to be happy, and his son wants the same for him, even if it's with Nina. But Michael has gotten involved in some SEC business in the hopes of assisting Drew and his mother. Instead, he'll learn a lot more than he bargained for. Nina Reeves is a snake in the grass, according to General Hospital spoilers. Michael will be upset, and rightly so, when he discovers Nina was the one who reported Carly and Drew. It's difficult to predict who he'll confront first, because he'll know that if he tells his mother, she'll tell everyone. Sonny's dreams for a future with Nino would be shattered if he tells his father. If he informs Willow, she will lose the relationship she has worked so hard to build with Nina, especially in the aftermath of the death of her only mother, Harmony Miller. Can you see where this is going? Ah, yes. It's probable that Michael will be torn about telling this truth. He could decide that keeping Nina's secret would keep the peace and joy in his family, and so it would be worthwhile in his opinion. Will he keep Nina's secret to save his father, whom he has already nearly destroyed? Will he confess the truth in order to save Drew, redeem Carly, and expose Nina? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.